When a patient presents their scripts in store, the staff member is able to add the basket entry to the EQ. Because the basket can be queued from the till or dispense, the EQ is suitable for both forward or direct dispensing pharmacies or those pharmacies that use script in counters. There are two ways to add scripts to the EQ from the till. From the till module, click the EQ icon and the add to EQ window is displayed. If you have the till window open, ready to perform sales, enter your clerk code and then click the EQ button on the till screen. The add to EQ window will be displayed. If you have selected a customer, prior to clicking the EQ window, then the customer details will be populated for you. To access the add to EQ window from the dispense form, press Alt, Shift and full stop from any field, or if there are scripts already in the EQ, click on the purple EQ button. This opens the EQ window. Click the Add button to open the Add to Queue window. You can also add to the EQ from the Customer Search window. From the Dispense form, enter the customer's name, press Tab, and select the customer in the Customer Search window. Then click the EQ button. The Add to EQ window is then displayed. Now that we have seen how to access the Add to EQ screen, let us take a closer look at how to add scripts to an EQ basket. In the Select Customer field, enter the name and select the customer that the scripts will be queued under. If there are scripts for multiple customers in one basket, as is often the case for partners or families, nominate the name of one of the customers in the Select Customer field you can still add all of the required scripts to the one basket. Alternatively, if you scan an eScript token or click the Add ASL Customer button and select a customer, the customer's details will be populated. Once the customer has been selected, the address, concession number, mobile and email for the customer will be displayed if they are present in the existing customer profile. Enter the total number of paper scripts required into the field on the top right of the window. In the field below, scan any eScript barcodes. You can scan eScripts for multiple customers into this field. The details of the script will populate in the eScripts queued panel below. In the active script list panel, the customer that you have selected will be displayed. If you have not yet selected a customer, there will be no customers listed. To select a customer, Click Add ASL Customer, search for and select the customer, and then click Enter. The customer will then be listed in the Active Script List panel. The coloured icon next to the customer's name shows their ASL status. Right-click in this area to bring up the Legend window. If the patient has a grey or red icon, it is not possible to queue scripts via ASL at this time. Please refer to the Minfos Help Centre for further guidance. If the customer has an orange icon, you must request and receive consent in order to access the customer's ASL. To do so, highlight the customer and click the Request Consent button. Follow the prompts to request access to the customer's ASL. If the customer has a green icon, the patient has an ASL and has granted your pharmacy access. Highlight the patient and click the View ASL button. The Active Script List window is displayed. Select the required eScripts and click Add to EQ. The eScripts will be added to the eScripts queued section. It is possible to queue scripts from multiple customers in one EQ basket. Simply click Add ASL Customer, select the additional customer, and then click View ASL. Follow the same process as before to add scripts to the basket. After you have added all of the required scripts to the basket, add any notes for the pharmacist and specify if the customer is waiting or calling back. If the customer is calling back, provide a return date and time. These details are used to manage the order of the scripts in the EQ. Using the buttons below, specify if the customer would prefer generics, 
require PRF stickers, require a CMI printout, require a tax invoice or receipt, or would like to speak to the pharmacist. Once you have confirmed the information with the customer, click the enter button to add the script to the EQ. Depending on your pharmacy's EQ docket settings, dockets may be printed for the customer and the basket, the customer or basket only, or not at all. To learn more about the EQ docket settings, please visit the MinFOS Help Centre.